Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC. So today I'm gonna to be doing an upgrade on the Mad Bug from Kyosho. I've already upgraded like the motor in it and because of the extra power that's in there, well, they come with, this is the upgrade anyway. So these are the steel wheel shaft set. So the ones that came with it were kind of like, a, they were a mix. So the actual, where you mount your, your wheel, right on this part of it, of the shaft, this part's metal on the car already, but it actual, the, um, what do you call it? Like the hub of it is not, it was plastic. So what happens is that hub would just spin and rotate. So all my power is going to the front. Uh, and I'll show you a little demonstration of what I'm talking about too. You'll see, so I'm gonna show you that here right now. All right, so if you notice, keep an eye on it in the back right here. You notice that little cup just turns. I'm just turning this other wheel. And that wheel is just spinning. You can see it there. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put these parts in. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just remove the wheel. All right, then next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is just remove that little take the pin out and see if we can get this pretty simple you don't only need a couple tools I got a Phillips screw and then this little t-style and this comes with even the RC car itself the mad bug so a great little handy tool to have so that's pretty much that's it quick and simple to do I didn't want to go ahead and edit it, but holding this anyway. Yeah. This little thing here, just, it's a shame. I wish they would have came with, it would come with a metal one. It's just kind of silly not to have it. But anyway, that's why I'm doing the upgrade now anyway. So I'll do a comparison and show you the two. So you guys can see those. I mean, the plastic one, I'm like, oh, it looks beefier, but nah, it's not. <laughs> so, easy enough to do. Put that in there. Put our little pin back in. That little, that little piece in there. Now what I was talking about too, you can see it, was this guy right here. It needs to be replaced, hopefully you can kind of see that. Anyway, I need to replace that. It's already kind of broken a little bit and I just kind of, I didn't notice it until I had already ordered these shafts or the, I call them like a hub really, but anyhow, they call them steel wheel shaft. I call this would be the shaft, but anyway, but it's part of the shaft, I guess, I don't know. But with that being said, uh, that would be, it's an easy enough job. Doesn't take very long at all to do, as you can tell. And you need, you don't need a lot of tools to do it anyway. So that's another thing that's kind of nice. That's why I, I kind of like the Phillips, because most people already have this stuff. You don't have, now granted, like if you get some of these uh, kits or cars that he's ready to run, some of them already have their tools included. To do you know most of the work on the rc car itself not saying that they give you everything that you can typically work on but the mass majority of it but yeah you can hear, hear a difference that thing is kind of a get that wheel on there it's kind of a pain i don't know why it's such a pain to get on there but anyway it's almost like that hole is too small even though that's the stock wheel that came with it all right so yeah, that's quick and simple to do anyway. I'll go ahead and spin that back on. And get it nice and secure. All right, so yeah, back in business with that one. Definitely, definitely nice. So I'll go ahead and do the other one and then we'll do a comparison and I'll see what happens with the front ones. Anyhow, let's see what it does. I'll do kind of like the spin test, what I was kind of doing where I, 
I put all three uh, tires on the ground and then I let one rotate and we'll see if it moves the tire or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this other one and then we'll continue on. Okay, so now you'll notice that when I try to keep all three wheels on the, on the ground and then spin the fourth wheel, you know that each one of them's trying to get some kind of traction where before the rear wheel will just, that hub would just spin as far as that shaft. So now we're doing better. So now even if I get them all planted in the front, yeah, so much better, definitely improved. I'll go ahead and do the, the front ones as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the front because it is a little bit different than the rear. So it's gonna take a little bit more time. Uh, as far as tools on there, you do need like your little Allen. And I use the T on there and then your little Phillips screwdriver as well. So let's go ahead and get going on, start it on that part of it. Take that off. Take this little guy, little pin. Now it does in the kit include some other little pins as well, but I'm just gonna go ahead. I mean, there's no difference between it and these extra pins. So I'm gonna put these aside for it just in case I lose a pin out of something else, I'll have some extras. So. Then the next thing I'll need to do, let's go ahead, no, I don't need that. So go ahead and take this little guy off. Put that up, just make sure that you don't lose that little piece in the center. Can you see that? Hope so. <laughs> All right, then we'll go ahead and put Allen here. Again, these are just basic tools, that little center piece that's there. And then we'll do the bottom as well. That was more of that, okay. That was for this little guy right there that fell out. Let's see if we can get this on its angle here. Yep, still can't see it as well. Let me flip it over the other way. Now it makes it pretty far away, but yeah, you know, okay. So we'll walk it in there. And you can see like that, that shock too, man. It's, it's leaking pretty good. Most of them are leaking all the oil on the bottom. It's kind of a bummer. Yes, I need to get some other tools or whatever, but it's what I have handy. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I know a lot of you guys, if you're just starting out, this is all you have for tools, so whatever. But put that aside. Then we'll go ahead and raise that back up so we can get a better look at it. Making sure that you guys can see that. I'd like to know how many of you guys actually, do you guys work on your RC cars? Cause it, I mean, or do you take it to a hobby shop where you have someone else work on it for you? You know, are you intimidated? Cause I know since a lot of these RC cars are, are ready to run and some people don't want to really get in there and work on their own RC car for whatever reason, you know, it could be intimidation. You're not used to it. That's why I like the kits. You'd build the kit you are familiar with putting it all together and you felt more comfortable if something went wrong. Nowadays, you're, you know, it just comes to you already pre-made and then you're like, eh, do I really want to take it all apart? And also taking some of these RC cars apart, um, they're a challenge anyhow when it comes to just uh, getting to certain things. They don't make it easy for you to get in there to work on. So that can be a challenge too. So. Anyhow, that's that. I feel like that little cup that's binding on me here. But I don't want to stop the video just because, you know, this is kind of real world. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, so that was easy though. Just put that in there. And it's not easy. I mean, it is easy. So it's just, yeah, I got to take a little bit of time with it. So we'll put this back in there. Somehow I lost one of my screws. <laughs> no, it's all there. Never mind. All right, I'm just gonna go underneath this. Let's 
Let's see if I can. Gotta move that cup in a little bit more. I think it's easier when you don't have the camera, <laughs> you know, just trying to put it in there. Ah, but I was trying to get it so you guys could see it a little bit. But it gets to be a challenge sometimes. Hmm. All right. Let's get the other one here. Yeah, and what I'm doing also is because that one's not wanting to go in exactly. So I'm going to at least get this top piece in there, get that secure. That way things like that I can worry about so they don't all fall out. I don't want to lose more of those little pieces. Got the screw that goes here. So we'll get that one secure. All right, and it's gonna do the bottom one here. I wanna make sure I have that little piece that's in there. It should be in there. All right, I'm gonna take it off the stand so that way I can see it. Maybe you guys can see it too. All right, here's that. It's like that spacer that goes in there. Much better. All right, now we can bring that back over. This servo is pretty strong, actually. All right, so now that we have that replaced, we'll go ahead and put our pen back in. Put that on there. Not, I mean, it's not hard. It's just me trying to get a good angle for you guys so you can see it all, but not a hard job to do in the first place. I just want to make sure that's pushed on there good. Let's see if you guys can see that. All right. Not bad at all. So, yeah, it took a little bit of time. I mean, not, I mean, not really. Let's see how much time we... Yeah seven minutes or so all right and also i need to tighten up one last thing here which kind of jumped ahead of it but that little screw right there so i just got to tighten it up no biggie i can do that with the wheel on just that you guys don't see exactly what i'm doing here So nice and secure everything's good you can see that a little bit almost like it wants to pop out of there just the way it looks but that's just how it is all right so i'm going to go ahead and do the other side but that's going to be yeah i mean same thing that you do on one side is going to be the same on the other side um so i will make a video of that because this one's already going to run too long and again it's the same for the other side so just repeat the same process for the second side all right i hope that guys I hope that helped somebody out there anyway and i appreciate you guys watching until next time this is joe with omgrc you guys take care thank you